I stay in the, at the Summer League all day, every day, like literally. <laughs> I'm not trying to go home early, none of that. <laughs> not right there every single day. Well, I've been going for the past six years now, and I'm trying to keep that tradition going. When I got there, I just kind of started talking to different people, you know, just opening conversations. And it's funny because, you know, people always say, oh, you're always giving the, giving the players high fives and this, this and that. I just started doing it, to be honest. And they ended up catching on and, you know, I got to meet a lot of good friends that way. I have met a lot of NBA players such as, you know, Jimmy Butler, James Harden, Marcus Smart, um, Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, just to name a few. When I get there, it's pretty much all open. You know, I see players, I'm high-fiving, I'm talking, stuff like that, you know, screaming at games. I try, I try not to scream at the refs, but you know, sometimes it comes out. <laughs> but I'm sure that's every, every sports fan, you know, they get a little carried away. I was born with hydrocephalus and spina bifida. And basically what that is, is I was born with a hole in my spine and I have a VP shunt on my brain to keep harmful fluid off. I go through, you know, the pains and the aches and stuff like that. But, you know, I look at it like I'm not going to wake up and be, oh, I'm not disabled anymore, you know, so I've learned to accept it. I've spent over 20 years trying to figure out what kind of person am I, and I'm comfortable. If people don't like me, I don't care, honestly. I love myself. My mom, she never, you know, treated me like I had a disability. You know, she raised me as a normal child. And so now that me being an adult, it kind of levels me to live that normal life. You know, I don't want people to think, oh yeah, I'm disabled, but I can't do this, I can do that. One thing people have to understand about me is I'm a regular person too. You know, once the summer league is all over, I go back to my personal life. You know, I have regular problems like any age and in their twenties, you know, it's all regular. I'm just a person in a wheelchair, you know, I'm not that special, but when I'm at the Summer League, it's these people who, you know, they remind me, you know, you are of importance. We look forward to seeing you. I go to the Summer League, it's kind of like I can be able to escape all those issues that I have. You know, I can really just let it all go and, you know, really be myself because I'm in my element.